welcome back to my channel this is nasu with fight for kidneys where i come to you guys and talk to you guys about kidney health and how to protect your kidneys um thank you so so much for you who have been sharing liking and subscribing and if it's your first time to watch this channel or to see me talking about kidney disease please subscribe please like and share because I always say information is powerful. It's one word or one thing that you might hear from me and that one might save your life or might save your loved one's life or might, because here I talk about kidney health, might save your, your kidneys or somebody that you love kidneys. So I welcome back um, and today I'll try to be brief and my topic today, I want to talk to the people who are watching me from developing countries. And especially, yeah, I'll say developing countries. And right now, I want to address the African countries. I know that whatever I'm going to talk to, to you guys about might also affect uh, some developed countries. But it's not as much as it's affecting the African countries. This month, we are still in the month of March, and the month of March is Kidney Awareness Month. And I, I painted my nails green <laughs> because I wanted to this month to feel the Kidney Awareness Month to bring awareness. And it has been, everybody's like, oh, why did, you know, I love your color. And what was the purpose of you painting green or having a, I'm not painting green. <laughs> Why, what was the purpose of you um, getting um, the green color? And I'm like, oh, we are in the month of March and the month of March is Kidney Awareness Month. And this is the color for Kidney Awareness Month. So anyway, before we close the month of March, of which whether the month of March end, you still be seeing me fighting here for kidneys. And that's what I say, I'm here to fight for kidneys fighting for my kidneys, fighting for your kidneys, and getting you empowered, informed, so that you know what to do to protect your kidneys or to preserve that kidney damage that has already occurred so it doesn't get worse. Uh, so, to you listening to me, my lovely listener, my lovely subscriber, thank you so much. So, why am I talking to African countries? Um, I attended a meeting, a virtual meeting the other day, and um, it was people coming up, talking about research. And I was concerned because the information that was given there, yes, it's what can we do? What can we do? But there's one thing that was left out, and I need to talk to you who is listening to me, is that how can the government get involved? What is the government doing? What is the government doing for preventing kidney failure, making sure we are protected? Because it's not just the, the individual us failing to do what we are supposed to do. In other sides, we are also being failed by the people that we put into those positions. So, and I still, I'm not trying to fight everybody. I know people are working hard. They have, of which I need to appreciate the Kenyan government, that they have made um, kidney treatment or dialysis facilities available even in the, you know, cl cl close proximity to the patient. Uh, in year 2006, that's so many years ago, and that's why I started, I started loving kidneys from that time. There were very few dialysis facilities, so people had to travel to like one hospital, an inter, uh, Kenyatta hospital, and that was quite a distance, and they could not, they were not able to, um, to, to, to address those people. I also want to give a shout to, to one governor that I had he addressed, because I listened to this when, during politics, and it's the governor of Nairobi that he spoke about it, he's like, we still have to do so much. But that's the last time I had him. I follow him on TikTok, I follow him on Twitter, and, um, and I follow him on these other platforms. But still, he spoke about it at that time when, you know, everybody was vying for their position. But I have not heard him talk about it in the, you know, 
once he got the possession. Because I say, if you are going to fight for something, and if that something is dear to you, I believe you should be fighting for it every single day and you should be telling us as your citizen as your people what are you doing what are the steps have you put in place you know don't tell us oh this is what we know the system is broken we know this is happening and i'm not trying to put him in the position i do appreciate him because he brought it up and i said this guy is talking of something that makes sense you know and i could see his heart belongs to to, to the people but anyway forget about that so what am i here to say i'm like thank to those people thank you to the uh the kenyan government that they have tried to make a dialysis affordable not yes kind of affordable but also accessible but then on the other part because when i go to kenya i go see those places that you can get dialysis accessible, but I'm also here to say it needs to be quality dialysis. So don't just give it accessible. Quality also matters. Provide quality care. I want to shout to one hospital, to one provider that I know that they are providing quality care. And I can test and I can start with that. Mm -hmm. And it's an African healthcare network. They have facilities all across East Africa. They're doing so good. And that's a shout out to Nikki uh, because I've seen the work they're doing and the doctors and the work they're doing. They are not just giving dialysis accessible. They're also making sure they are providing quality care. You know, they are seeking people from other nations to see how can we make this uh, dialysis um, affordable. So that's another shout I need to give to somebody. If you're doing good, I need to give you your flowers when you can hear me giving you flowers. So I'm giving to the governor of Nairobi that he says something that he said, yes, we have done that so, so much, but we still have room to do more things. And that's what I want to hear him. If you know him, tell him we need to hear more and we need to see you in parliament fighting for those things and saying, yes, we have done so, but we need to do more. But today I'm here to talk to you guys, politics aside. I'm here to talk to you guys about um, the things that we feel that need to be done. So the March of month, uh, the month of month uh, of March is uh, Kidney Awareness Month. Yeah, we tell people. Yeah, we can tell people. Okay, this is what happened. And let me remind you: if you're watching for the first time, you have never heard about kidneys, and what are the main causes of kidney failure? Is high blood pressure, diabetes. Those are the two main causes, the highest, not the two main causes, the highest causes of kidney failure, high blood pressure, diabetes. And if you have, you really want to learn more about it, please go back to my previous videos, my initial videos that I did about the introductions about kidney failure, the causes, things that can make your kidney fail, what you need to do. And if you want me to do it again, I'll be so glad to do it. Anyway, so so as we bring the awareness what we are asking the government and this is where you come in this is what i'm calling you anybody who is watching me or if you are watching me from any other country and you have a friend in africa please tag them tell them you need to come and listen to this and this is what you need to push to your for your government and this starts from your local government it does not have just to go to the governor you have to start from local government, talking to those people in the grassroots, talking to your um, to your uh, MC, talking to your chiefs, talking to their sister chiefs, talking to your pastors, talking to your educators, and telling them that this is what we need. So, kidney. Uh, one thing I tell you guys: How would you know that you have kidney failure? Is testing that's how or if your kidneys are getting damaged or you are at a risk for kidney failure it's getting tested getting tested and this is why I'm coming in and asking you guys to talk to your uh, the local government up all the way because they need to go and push all that that every area should be covered they should the the insurance they should have uh, insurance available to cover for these tests that are so easy and so simple for you to get to know if you have kidney failure, if you are at risk for kidney failure, and it need to be at the grassroots, at the local dispensaries, at the local hospitals, not just going to the city, but right there in your shopping center, somebody should be able to test you for kidney failure, for high blood pressure, blood sugar, risk factors, and 
teaching you what you need to do and how to protect your kidneys so again I thank you guys for watching. I was hoping this is going to be like a five minute quick thing to tell you what you need to do. But thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Talk to your local, um, local, you, you are, you are government of issues and tell them you need it. And if you, they are sitting in the city and your parents are in the village who are 60 years old, who are at risk for kidney failure, you need to bring the service to them next to where they are, local to their shopping centers, local court hospitals, dispensaries, pharmacies. Those things can be done. At the, the, it does not need to be done in the city. You do not need to incur cost of bringing your parent from the village to the city to get a test. Those tests can be done at the local uh, places, at the local where, you know, in the in the villages people can go with motorbike we have so many people who are educated they can go with education and get taught how to take this sample how to do it and you know uh healthcare issues that how can they do it in the local area in where people are so till next time thank you so so much for subscribing thank you so much for sharing and i appreciate you guys for always subscribing liking and if you have not please do please do because the more you do the more you empower and i'm telling you guys there's so much that we are going to do in the in the next couple of months in the next years you guys are gonna see how we're gonna grow how we're gonna keep empowering you guys keep empowering myself and keep pushing for those um government officials to make these things available at our local levels all right till next time thank you so so much for subscribing